Hello everybody out there. This is Kevin Sullivan. You're now tuned in and watching my channel. And if you haven't already, like, share, subscribe. Yeah, you can do that now. So what I want to talk about today, let's see. I want to talk about the narcissist flying monkeys. The narcissist flying monkeys is a unique tool for them to um, justify their wrongdoing and also give them admiration and also help them and to destroy you and spread rumors about you and do smear campaigns. So the flying monkeys are actually toxic people. They, um, it could be the narcissist family members, the narcissist co-workers, or if you work at the same place, co-workers, their family members, um, and their friends. And that's just how it goes with the narcissist. They have flying monkeys. Narcissists wouldn't exist are really will be unable to do what they do if they didn't have flying monkeys because there will be nobody to justify what they do and pat them on the back and say it's okay to do what you do and point the figure at you and then when it comes to a smear campaign they really wouldn't have one without um not flying monkeys helping them assisting them and doing most of the dirty work as to destroying you your name and your image and your reputation so the flying monkey takes orders from the narcissist um, what to do this, go do that, go say this, go do that to him. And the, the, flying monkey, the, the flying monkey takes orders from the narcissist. The flying monkeys are toxic people themselves. They most likely are narcissists, just like the, um, the narcissist, just like the, uh, the, um, the narcissist, just like the narcissist you're in a companion with and just like any other narcissist of a boss or supervisor or other co-worker or other family member um your flying monkey is a narcissist just like them or either they're just toxic people because only with toxic people will do the things that the narcissist do or will listen to the narcissist knowing the type of person they is and the things they're they're doing uh normal healthy people wouldn't be a flying monkey and wouldn't go help destroy another person for no reason especially if it has nothing to do with them so one thing you definitely need to take in consideration um once 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 you you find out and know that you're dealing with a narcissist stay away from their family members don't talk to their family members stay away from their friends don't talk to their friends and stay away from their co-workers and don't talk to their co-workers because in the smear pain the smear campaign the narcissist dragged you through the mud without you even knowing why y'all were still together narcissists are they're 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 cold and calculus like they already got the system that they have that they do and already got a program that they know that works for sure so they just repeat it with the next victim to the next victim and do it over and over again so for instance like i'm saying the narcissist will um why why they devaluate devalue devaluating you they have already devalue you to their families their friends co-workers your family your friends your co-workers through the whole town city neighborhood state they already have done that without you even knowing and before you eat they already have done it and you don't even know yet but everybody else already know so when they when they in the devalue the, the devaluating you stage you don't notice but they're doing it then so by time that they really discard you let you go or if you let go of them and it's over the damage already been done to you your name your reputation and what you stand for so once it's over they not even trying to hear you because behind your back they done started the, um, the smear campaign and had assistance from their flying monkeys to make sure it spread everywhere make sure everybody know and say that with the flying monkey what what what, what happened to you was true you know what i'm saying what, what, whatever the narcissist said about you that was true they're, they're gonna say oh yeah it's true this is what happened this is what he did um this is what he she did this is this is what happened they're a bad person they're an evil person this is what they did and what the narcissist does is the narcissist whatever they done to you or did wrong to you whatever how they did it that's exactly what they say you did and it kind of makes sense in the evil way because think about it whatever they did to you you're going to say what they did you know what i'm saying if they cheated on you three times in a week and you and you discard them and you break up with them or they discard you you're going to go and say well 
they cheated on me, you know what I'm saying? Um, with this person, that person, this, then that person in a week, they, they're gonna tell them that and tell them like, you're crazy and you did this. They already did this before the discard. So when you go say that, they got, you know what they're gonna be thinking? You guessed it. You trying to say what you did to he or she, that what you did to them, that they did to you. They're gonna actually, they're gonna really actually think you crazy. It's a defense mechanic defense mechanism that the narcissist use which to be honest even though it's horrible and it's terrible it's kind of unique and makes sense i mean think about it because it's like okay they already know what they did to you and they already know what you know so if it happened if, if when the, when the discard happened whether you ready to leave or not but whenever they re ready to leave, they they're gonna leave. And if you're not ready to leave yet, and they leave, then the damage is already done. The narcissists already know this game. They've been playing this game forever, all their life. Like, and the older you see they are, the more you know like they are into this game because they've been playing it and it's been working, and they don't care. So once you leave, they already did everything. So you walking into everything, and everybody looking at you, whispering, and like you, you're the bad guy. And, and and when it comes to the flying monkeys and don't don't even be bothered with them stay away from them don't want to listen to anything they got to say about the narcissist because they only want to come and tell you how great they doing and then they only going to go and tell the narcissist about you and so don't they don't want to know the truth and they don't care for the truth they on the narcissist side so just let them be and just keep doing your thing and get through the situation and get your life back together but just know, you know, and even if you don't know what the narcissist did, if you don't know what the narcissist did, whatever, whatever, and then the, if it, and when the narcissist discards you and you don't know why, and you don't know like why they did that, when the smear campaign happened and the rumors that you hear um, that why the narcissist left you, that's what the narcissist did to you. So if you don't know, and you don't know the shady and sneaky conniving and stuff that the narcissist been doing to you while you were in a relationship with them, and they broke up with you and you don't know the reason why, whatever the rumor you hear that they lie, he or she, the narcissist lied and said you did to everybody, that's what they did to you. So now you know. Just so when you don't know, and the discard happened, they leave you, and you don't know why. D d whatever they did to you, that's shady. They, that's what they. That's what they did. That's what they did to you behind your back. If they said he stole on me, he stole from me my money. He stole this from me. That's what they did. They were stealing your money. You didn't know it. If they was cheating all the time on you, they gonna say that you was cheating all the time on them. If they was, if they was, um. Uh, uh, abusing you they gonna say you was abusing them if they was emotionally abusing you they gonna say you was emotionally abusing them if they gonna say you a toxic person they gonna say if you if they was a toxic person they gonna say you was a to toxic person if you if they was lazy they gonna say you was lazy everything that is wrong and shady and no good about them they're gonna say that about you they're gonna say that you it's the uh, it's a, a defense mechanism for the narcissist that way they choose self help from being revealed think about it if they trying to hide who they really are whatever they really are they're gonna say it was you so they keep needing to do dirt and blame and blame other people for it so it help it helps they image stay the way they want their image to be because the narcissist has a false image even though they wicked mean nasty and evil and nasty they want people to look at them as they false self they have a sense of false self and they want to be looked at as they want to be looked at they don't want to be looked at as for who they truly are they don't so they always going to protect that they will they they will they will die defending they image they 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 will die defending the image that's why narcissists will be who they are with you behind closed doors so nobody can see it you know what i'm saying when you out in the public they're gonna be nice to you but behind closed doors they they're they gonna be the nasty mean person that you know them to be behind closed doors but when you're out in the open they're not gonna be like that because they don't want they don't want nobody to know that they're like that 
because they want their image to be as this perfect perf this per perfect person that they that they want to be that they not they fall self that they love and so with that being said also i want to add is that the only person that were narcissist the narcissist will reveal of how slimy and grimy and nasty they are and who they will be nasty and grimy to you in front of is another narcissist who already know who they truly are and you need to understand narcissists hang out and chill with other narcissists they have to they have to they have to they have to have both sides they have to have 50 percent of friendship and contact with narcissists and the flying monkeys and 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 other type of uh people who just like them and then they have to have 50 percent of other people who are not like them you get what i'm saying because dumb people help them in every defense way that they need help from so they can say uh you know oh this person is not really like that you know what i'm saying and they need good people to help them get the resources that they need so they pretend like they good to them people also so the people who not like the narcissist they really don't know nothing about the narcissist true person the evil nasty wicked devilish evil jezebel spirit self that they truly are people who are like you they never seen anything like that because the narcissist know better and smart to not let them see that because they understand like they not like them so it's best to have them on a side and know them for this false perfect self that they portray to be to everybody which they are not so they smart on that end so that's what makes it harder for people not to believe you and understand because all the narcissists show them is, is, is they good self and it's like people don't get or understand like these type of people are out there it's like like come on like you know what i'm saying like but it is what it is so and then the narcissists only let the narcissists let the other narcissists and toxic people that's just like them oh they know how they are and they sit and they laugh together and they joke because the people who are just like them they do it to they narcissists so they do it to other people too so they got a community the narcissist has a community where they in the groups you know the saying birds of a feather flock together yeah the narcissist has his narcissist people and this have his regular people that's normal like you and then they have the narcissist people that's just like them that's mean evil and nasty and those the people that most like the, the people who are they flying monkeys some of their friends are nasty people and some of them not and you you um you won't even know who's who until like the end you'll kind of figure it out like okay you know what i'm saying but either way none don't care the good people the good regular healthy people that the friends the narcissists are fake friends with they 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 they're not gonna believe that and they don't even want to you know what i'm saying be involved in that and they're not gonna believe you because all they seen from the narcissist is good old good fake narcissists they, they seen all the fake good facade of the narcissist so they not gonna believe you because all they seen was how good they are so they not gonna believe that and the narcissist the, the the narcissist um the narcissist um friends and family members they not gonna believe that especially the narcissist narcissist friends that's just like them nasty like the narcissist they know what's going on they're against you they don't like you because you're the opposite of them like you you a healthy good person so you know what i'm saying they don't like you just because of that and put and the extra don't like you because of their narcissist friend they got a community they 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 help they help they help each other out they stick together you know just like the the, the code of the boys in blue you know what i'm saying like they 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 don't <laughs> they they stick together no matter what right or wrong that's how it goes that's exactly how it goes if if you and 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 if you um have a narcissist family and um, like you're the only one that's a narcissist. You could kind of, you could kind of understand it because you'll see everybody different from you. They live a certain way. They got a certain language. They understand each other. Like, if you see the way they operate and you think it's weird, it's like, why would you say sorry for this? Like, why would you, why would you be so catering to this person like that? Why would you be on your tippy toes for this person? Why would you not just say the truth and try to put it in a most softest candiest way when you just need to be blunt and honest like 
they understand that because narcissists understand how a narcissist, other narcissists think and feel because they think and feel just like them. So they know how to tiptoe around, not to hurt the narcissist's ego. They know what the narcissist expect from them because they are the same way. So you you looking around and you like, huh? And then when you do stuff the opposite way, they, they come at you like, you know what I'm saying? How dare you all, that's wrong or messed up. That's because like, and then they'll make you think you crazy because they all like that. And then you're the only one not like that. But the truth of the matter is that you're the healthy one. They're not the healthy. They got mental illness. So they, so they, so they think like that and move how they move. So the same thing that's going to happen to you with the narcissist flying, with, with the narcissist flying monkeys and some narcissists, they family are narcissists too. So they all know each other narcissists. So they all stick together. Like everybody, the whole household, the whole family, they narcissists. They all like that. They just all been like that. So it's like they all got mental illness. So don't any friends, some of their friends, they, they got the mental illness too. Like they narcissists too. So don't even try to explain, but just know the narcissist done the smear campaign when they already decided like the Mars and the, this thing about the narcissist, they already know they're going to leave you and they know exactly when and, and when they're going to leave you and how they already know. And they already know the reason why. So they already going to do this, the smear campaign ahead of time. You know what I'm saying? They, they do the smear campaign before they discard you. Then after that, they discard you. And then so everybody already know why they left you the bad guy they the victim and you're the bad guy you're the abuser you're the bad guy so as soon as they break up with you and then they already got their new victim they already got their new victim they new supply already in place so as soon as they break up with you they already in a, they already in a relationship and they done told the new victim about how crazy you are and what you did. So when they just leave you and you trying to call back and like, yo, what happened? Like, we, we had something good, what's happened? Why you just leave? They, you know what the narcissist is gonna say to the new supply? See, I told you he or she was crazy. I told you, they look, they won't leave me alone. They they stalking me, we been broke up. They you know what they gonna lie and say? They gonna say we broke up two months ago. Cause believe me, the narcissist already cheated with the new supply on you already. That's just how they get down. They like to be sneaky, evil, conniving, and doing dirty, nasty stuff. So they're going to cheat on you already with the new supply. And they're going to tell the new supply, like, we broke up already. You see what I'm saying? So then they got the new supply already hooked, already love bombed, already got him on his pedestal. They feel so awesome. So the first thing they're going to do is be like, oh, Oh yeah, he, this person is crazy. That's what the last narcissist that was trying to get with me. That's what they did. They 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 did that. And then the narcissist I dealt with like five to seven years a long time ago, she did the same thing. She she did the same thing. Whenever she would leave and, and, and like just bounce and discard and just out of the blue don't want to deal with me and start acting funny, giving me the cold shoulder, I would call to really see what was going on. And some she'll get a phone to a dude and the dude picked up. That's because they don't want to deal with. They don't have feelings, they don't have emotions. They fake like they have feelings and emotions, but they don't, they really don't. So they don't wanna deal with the problem. The narcissist see it like, or oh, if I'm done with you, you just an object, I'm done with you. It's just like you got a whole bunch of toys and you a kid, you'll ride one, you'll play with one for like five seconds, throw it away, you don't wanna be bothered with it. Then you got, you got a new toy that you playing with and you wanna be bothered with that toy. You focus on that toy. Like, see a little kid play with a toy and he play with it after he done threw a one down and done with it and grab a new toy. Get that old toy and try to put it in his face. See if they don't, he or she, the little kid won't be like, I don't want, leave me alone. I don't want nothing to do with that, 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 that toy. I, I'm done with that. I, I want to play with this now. They done ran out they fun with that toy already. They, they done expanded, play with it, had they fun, got what they could get out of it. Now they done. They don't want it no more. Same thing with the narcissist, what he or she do, what or he or she other person. They 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 use what they can use, have fun with you, do you wrong, mess you all up. Then when they done with you, they don't want to be bothered with you. No, don't talk. That's how narcissists see people and they think like kids, like they see people as objects. And they front like it's a relationship and they have the emotions and the feelings and the commitment and the loyalty and the bond with you but they don't, they just know how to fake it because they see everybody else do it and they learned at a young age what to do and how to fake it. So once once they discard you and let you go, once they discard you and let you go, 
they not trying to hear uh uh let's talk about it because they're not trying to talk about it they don't want to talk about it i'm done with you and that's how they think i'm done with you that's it i don't have to talk to you they think they so better than everybody and they don't want to deal with no emotions because then they have to talk with okay why well, i did this then if they talk about it and explain what happened they got to really tell the truth about they ain't no good and they're not going to do that and all they're going to really let you know is that it's your fault and that's what they're going to say when they discard you if they tell you it's over they might tell you and be like oh i'm leaving you because it is because of that 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 and boom that's it that's it i don't want to talk about it and and this one narcissist she did that all the time she would give the phone to me i mean she would give the phone to she would give the phone to um she would give the phone to, to it always would be another dude answering the phone. After she do me wrong and I'll call, be like, what's good? Or out of the blue, I'll call and she'll just be done with me and I don't even know. They won't say nothing. Like you could be with a narcissist today, have a good time, joy, talking about well, we gonna get married, have kids. It could be all lovey-dovey today. Two days later, you call? A dude pick up the phone like, why you calling my girl? <laughs> like. Like, why are you calling my girl? Like, yo, stop calling her. Stop stalking her. Leave her alone. Like, huh? Like, what? And you, and then I'll be like, yo, like this, I was, what you talking about? Like, I was just, I, I go with her. We was just together, like, last night, the other night. They not, they not trying to hear that because they don't know that. And the narcissist untold the new supply that you're crazy and this is what you're gonna say because they know the truth of what y'all go through or what it is between y'all two. So whatever the truth is between y'all two, they're gonna say that that's what you're gonna say and that's what you're gonna do. So then they seem like they right and like it makes the new supply believe them because exactly how crazy they say you is and what you're gonna say and how you act they're gonna you're gonna do that and then it's like oh yeah this guy really crazy and they'll just say oh i feel sorry for for he or she the narcissist to tell a new supplier like they feel sorry for you and they just trying to help you out they try to help you get back on your feet and they just care for you 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 just you just no good or they just feel sorry for you so they just throwing pity parties for you and that's what the new supply going to think the new the, i was i was more healthy than what the narcissist, the last narcissist I dealt with thought. And so everything she was trying to throw at me, I was like, nah, that ain't right, that ain't right, that ain't right. Like she was doing the same thing. She was trying to tell me how bad this guy she was dating with, what, what was going on. And I'm like, and she lied and I kept catching her in lies. And that's why she didn't want to deal with me because I kept saying, well, you said last time that you, you, you broke up with this person and and um, four months. Now you're saying you don't know two months. And then what she tried to do real quick was like, oh no, I don't know, I I, I just forgot. Like, um, 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 I don't know, remember, it's just that she tried to say, brush it off real quick like it was nothing. She just forgot, like, she don't remember, she just know it was a long time and I was unacceptable for me. And once then I knew like, she ain't was gonna deal with me no more because I was gonna question her about and then once the narcissist know like you, 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 you're you gonna question them about stuff and you're not just gonna not just let them say anything and just let it slide they don't want to deal with you no more because they know it's going to be a problem narcissists don't want problems they want you to shut up be quiet do what they want them to do and don't question them about nothing and be stupid and fall for everything they don't want you to stand for nothing to have your own voice so once once they know like you're not gonna do that, they done with you. Like oh I gotta leave. Like this is and they really gonna do a smear campaign on you because they know like once a not and when a narcissist know like you know the true self for them, they really smear campaign you because they don't want they they don't want you to reveal the people who they are. They're scared of that because like they'll just melt and die because they don't have everybody looking at them like who they truly are, and they don't want to be looked at who they truly are. They hate their true selves. They don't want to be looked looked at as who they really are so that's a problem so they're going to smear campaign you wrong they will destroy you at no they don't care what the cost is they'll destroy you just to keep that image that image is very important to them so be careful with the narcissist for real because they don't care like the image is everything to them so that's what i wanted to talk about this video a little longer than i wanted it to be but i just wanted to talk to you about the flying monkeys uh the narcissists they 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 they're gonna do some assistance they're gonna attack you 
the new supply, the narcissist new supply, they also gonna be turned into a flying monkey also. You know what I'm saying? Some of them be careful, like I was just telling you, like they'll pick up the, like my last, um, you know the narcissist I dealt with a long time ago, years ago for a long time, out of the blue, like some, I'll call her and the dude will pick up and just be cussing me out, ready to fight and do all this crazy stuff because it's what the narcissist tell them. Off rip soon as the narcissist, why the nar you gotta understand, why the narcissist getting a new supply, once they started, once they seen a new supply and they got them and they wanted them, they started love bombing them and also telling them they, they do, they play the victim role. As soon as they, they love bombing, they playing the victim role and they already telling they new supply how bad that of a, of a, a partner you were. So they, the narcissist new supply thinks that you're this bad person, which you're really not, but they already programmed to see you as a threat and a problem. And you gotta remember, the, nar the, the new supply feel like he just met his soulmate. So he's protecting that. She turned into a protector. Protect what you got, I'm your soulmate. And, and the new supply think this woman is so wonderful, or this guy, or this, or, or, or she think that this new guy is so awesome, it's they soulmate. Then they do the love bombing, then they put him on a pedestal, then the narcissist be they fake he or she false self. So they just in the days, they in la la land. The, the new supplies in La La Land, like, think about how, all you gotta start thinking about is how you were when you met the narcissist through the first three phases. The love bombing, the devaluing, and the discard. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then think about all the people who was talking bad about the flying monkeys are the people, the same people who the narcissist brag to you about, who the narcissist brag about. Like, the, the, who the narcissist, when you first met the narcissist, which the last narcissist, she did this. The people who she bragged to you about, they um they the same people who are gonna be the flying monkeys. So if she bragging to you about her brother, to her if the narcissist bragging to you about he or she, brag if the narcissist bragging about you to um he or she um parents, family, friends, co-workers, the neighbors, community, that's who are they flying monkeys. Them the people who they gonna also smear campaign you, who smear smear campaign you against, also. So just as much as they, the narcissist praising you and giving you all of this, um, this putting you on a pedestal and love bombing you and idealizing you, it that you know what I'm saying? They're gonna the 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 love bombing gonna be the the the, the love bombing gonna be. The opposite of that the smear campaign gonna be the opposite of that now when they love when they love bombing you and telling everybody about you and telling you how good you are about yourself when they odd when they devalue devaluing you that's what they're gonna do how it was love bombing you when they devalue you they're gonna bomb you with negative stuff when they love bomb you they 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 they, they bomb you when they love bomb you they bomb you with positive stuff when they devalue you start devalue devalue when they start devaluing you they start um bombing you with negative stuff about you you know what i'm saying which is really not uh what's wrong with you was really they just project on with to you with it's really who they are so they just really telling you what they did wrong to you or and who and what type of disgusting person they are and then it's so uh, they telling everybody too like so everybody's already against you so so now you know let me cut this video let me stop this video it's a little bit longer than i thought if you have more questions just leave a comment you can ask me a question if you want to ask me a question more information if you haven't already like share subscribe to my channel um you can do that right now so thank you for listening thank you for um, checking out my channel thank you for like sharing and subscribing to my channel and if you have any questions let me know and have a great one um, thank you for tuning in. This is Kevin Sullivan. Um, and please stay not free. Bye.